Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Saviour is born for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now, there were shepherds in the region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all people. For today, in the city of David, a Saviour has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. You may be seated for a few moments. 
my dear sisters and brothers, my family in Jesus. This is the night for which we have been preparing for the last four weeks. Today unto us is born the Saviour of the world, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The good news is simple. God has fulfilled his promise to his people. God is with us. Most importantly, my friends, God has shown us his great mercy and his love. With the events of this night, we have seen the great love of God to us, his people. Our first reading this night of Christmas was from the book of the prophet Isaiah and it captures and summarises what we have achieved through the birth of Emmanuel, God with us. For the prophet says, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. On those who live in the land of deep shadow, a great light has shone. The light of God shines on us in Christ Jesus, the newborn. He is the light of the nations. And for all who have accepted him, never again shall we walk in darkness. Jesus came to dispel the darkness that darkened our hearts and sadly our world. Most importantly, the birth of Jesus this night. We have begun a new season of joy, a new season of salvation history, and a new life filled with hope. Because God is with us. As Titus captured in our second reading, with the birth of Jesus today, the grace of God has appeared and has made salvation possible for the whole human race. The glorious appearance of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Also, this night, we live in a new season of the grace of God, which God himself has fashioned for you and for me. And finally, our duty during this time of Christmas is to do what the shepherds and the angels did, adoring the child Jesus and singing the glory of the Lord. And so our song today and forever shall be glory to God in the highest and peace to people of goodwill who enjoys God's favour. Also, my friends, it moves us to spread the good news to the ends of the world, even our own little world, the villages, the towns where we live, the schools, the colleges that we attend, the workplaces where we are. Today, in Bethlehem, to you and to I, is born a great Saviour. Rejoice, my friends, for God has shown us his great mercy. Rejoice, for God has come to earth for a visit. Let us spend time with him during the busyness of this season. Let us take two or three minutes a day just to be with the newborn king, perhaps in our nativity scenes during this holy season. And let us, my friends, like Mary, reflect on these things in the quietness of our own hearts. I wish you all a very blessed and joy-filled Christmas. 
then on behalf of my wife Heidi and I, we send you love, we send you prayers, and we send you blessings. A very, very Merry Christmas to you all. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.